it is indeed a great delight for me to address you as the 62nd president of the Institute of Child Cons of India. I would join all my friends here on the stage, off the stage, to congratulate you, to compliment you on this special occasion, on the occasion of the distribution of your membership certificates in this colorful convocation. In fact, friends, standing here at the stage, it's a very colorful sight to see all of you, young, smart, sitting there, ready to receive your credentials. And I can only say it's a golden opportunity in your life, a moment which you will cherish for a long time. And as my earlier predecessor said, we never had this great opportunity and I can only say you're all extremely lucky. Friends, I can very confidently assure all the members present here that yes, we at the Institute are there to support you. We at the Institute are there to guide you. And together we are now a family of 2,25,000 chartered accountants. And on behalf of the Council of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, I extend a very warm welcome to all of you to this great family of chartered accountants. Our distinguished Vice President, Mr. Manoj Fadnes, a member of the Central Council who has worked for the last 23 years, a member from your own region, will be taking over baton as the President of the Institute on the 12th of February 2015. I think this is a special moment for all of us because Mr. Manoj Fadnes has put in a lot of effort contributing his entire lifetime for the cause of the profession for the members and students. And I'm very confident under his able leadership, the Institute would be scaling new heights. My compliments to you, Manojji, and I'm very confident the young generation of chartered accountants present here who would see a lot of excitement in the months to come. Friends, we have three diamonds present here, three diamonds from the central region. As you're all aware, we are a 32 member council, eight government nominees, and three diamonds from your region, Mr. Anuj Goyal, Mr. Mukesh Kushwa, Mr. Shamlal Agrawal deserve a big round of applause for the commitment they've demonstrated, for the love they have for the student community, for the love they have for the members, for the effort they're putting in. And I can say Anuj Goyal, I've seen him personally for the last 16 years, relentlessly working for the profession. My compliments to Anuj Ji for the passion you have for the profession and for the good work you're doing for the profession. Mr. Mukesh Kushwa and Anuj Goel have jointly coordinated this event and my thanks to both of them. Of course, Mukesh is a new member to the council, but yes, he is a part of the examination system. Our examination system, as you know, is one of the best in the world. And today, if all of you have passed through this examination system, I think uh, a lot of credit should go to Mr. Mukesh Kushwa. Entire profession is recognized today in society because of one of the toughest examinations. And I would like to compliment all the parents present here for having supported your children to pursue this child accountancy course, which, which is one of the most popular professional courses in India. I think a lot of credit should go to all the parents present here. I would personally thank them for the patience you've shown, for the kind of care you've taken, and for having guided them, for having mentored them. If without your support, I'm sure none of our young members would have qualified as child accountants. My thanks to all of you for having joined us today for this colorful convocation. Mr. Shamla Lagarwal is from Jaipur. He was very keen that this convocation should also be held in Jaipur. Tomorrow we have more than 1,000 child accountants coming in Jaipur to participate in the convocation. My congratulations to you, Mr. Shamji, for the good work you're doing in this part of the region. Niti Shagarwal is a chairman of the Central Region, and the Central Region is one of the most active regions in the country. We have the entire team of regional council members present here. And my compliments to Nitish Ji, Abhishek Ji, for the good work all of you are doing. Friends, this is the fourth convocation which we are conducting this year. 11 is the total number of convocations which we will be conducting this month and the next month. And we'll have the opportunity of interacting with a lot of young minds, inspiring minds. And I, as I said, India is a happening economy today. The entire world is looking upon India. 
today what is really happening is that we have a new government, a new prime minister, a new finance minister, and the entire leadership of the country is looking upon us with high esteem. On the 1st of July 2014, the prime minister of our country, Narendra Modi, tweeted and wished all the chartered accountants all the best in the of, on the occasion of Chartered Accountants Day. And he said that yes, chartered accountants play a very important role in nation building. We also had the Honorable Finance Minister coming to Vigyan Bhavan and pressing our members. He was in full praise of the profession. So what is very important, friends, is for us to understand that there is a high expectation from the government. We need to work with them, we need to partner with them. And I am very confident all of you here would work together and see how best we can support in building a resurgent India. Having said this, there are so many opportunities for you. You are building a new career in your life. Today, child accountants are looked upon with high esteem. And it is absolutely essential for you to keep in mind what are the opportunities available to you in India. India is a happening economy. Many sectors are opening up. Retail, infrastructure, telecom, IT. IT has I come, up, come from a city like Bangalore, where in Bangalore are more than 10,000 CAs, more than 3,000 final child accounts are there in the IT sector. Today, a lot of opportunities for child accounts in India. Traditional sectors like banking, financial services, insurance, Manufacturing, plenty of opportunities. We are conducting campus interviews in 17 locations, and I am sure all of you would be successful in taking up a good career. But my only request to each one of you is that try to choose a company which you feel you can do a lot. You might have a passion for working in the IT industry, yes, you should join an IT company. If you have a passion for working in the manufacturing industry, you should join a manufacturing company. So be feel free to choose what you want. Abroad, plenty of opportunities, especially in the Gulf region, go to Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Kuwait, Muscat, Doha, three times the package, tax free salary, and yes, a lot of opportunities. You have to reach out to your friends there and try to see if you can get an opening for yourself in the Gulf region. Also in Australia, Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, plenty of opportunities. And Australia is a beautiful country. Many young CEOs would like to go there and settle down there. Again, attractive opportunities. And finally, Singapore. Singapore is a growing economy. A lot of investments are coming from Singapore. A lot of companies in Singapore are investing in India. We see a lot of action in Singapore. And when we visited Singapore a few weeks back, we could understand that there are more than 1,000 child accountants working in Singapore. So if you're looking for an opportunity abroad, yes, you should look at, uh, look at taking up a global career. Friends, I would not like to talk much about the institute very quickly because we need to start with the distribution of certificates. I would just like to share 12 mantras for you to be successful in life. All of you have been extremely successful today being chartered accountants. I'm sure the kind of recognition what you'll be getting today, everyone around you will be so happy. Your parents will be happy. They'll be introducing you, my daughter is a child accountant, my son is a child accountant. All your friends will be excited to, you know, have your company. And wherever you go, whether you go for a marriage function, whether you go to a party, everyone would like to greet you, shake hands with you. Am I right? This is something, uh, this will be there for the rest of your life. The other day, when I was coming from a flight from Delhi to Bangalore, I just popped my briefcase on the top and then sat down. And to my good fortune, I had the captain of the Indian cricket team, Mr. Dhoni, sitting next to me. I thanked my stars. I said, today is a very fortunate day for me. The Indian cricket captain is sitting next to me. And I casually introduced myself. I said, my name is Raghu. I am the president of the Institute of Child Accounts of India. We interacted. And when I told him I was a child accountant, believe it or not, friends, he looked upon me with a lot of interest. He said, can I have your card? I gave him my card. So that is the kind of recognition and respect you get in the society. So what I mean to say, this recognition is something the entire society has a lot of expectation from you. Mukesh Bhai was very rightly saying, a lot of uh, you know, responsibility is there when you carry out your attest function. Society looks upon you. Whatever you make statements you make, you need to be careful when you are making your statements as a professional. So this is a new journey for all of you. I can only say good luck to all of you and I am sure you will enjoy every bit of this journey. It will be a long journey. I have completed 25 years as a professional and I can say I'm enjoying every bit of my journey as a chartered accountant and I'm sure each one of you present here will enjoy. Quickly coming to the 12 mantras for all of you, friends, now that you have become a chartered accountant, you also need to be successful in life. 
just having a CA degree with you is not sufficient. You might get a good job, but what is important is that you need to be extremely successful in life. You should be a responsible citizen of this country. So you need to set your short-term goals, your long-term goals. Yes, when you set your short-term goals and long-term goals, you need to involve your parents, sit down with them, discuss with them, your friends, whether you want to get into practice, whether you want to get into industry, whether you want to go abroad, whether you want to get, get married this year, maybe three years down the lane. All these are very important. My only request to you is that set your goals in life right today. Now that you're qualified, now that you have a degree, you should involve your friends, your parents, and try to have clear code goals so that you know what, what will be the roadmap. Number two, be positive in life. Absolutely essential for you to be positive in life. It's always nice to say that yes, the other side of the glass is green, but my only request to each one of you is that if you are positive in life, you have more energy flowing in you. Number three, be good to others. When I say be good to others, it could be your you know, employer in the workplace, maybe your boss. You need to be good to everyone you come across in life. Irrespective of however he is to you, try to be good to him. Number four, you need to uphold your character. It is absolutely essential for you because in a corporate world, once you get into a job, what remains is your character. You need to uphold your character. Fine, you are a child accountant, but if your character is not good, who will you respect you in the organization? You need to see that you uphold your character. Number five, respect your elders. When you talk about elders, elders at the workplace also, maybe at home. Many a times I feel a lot of young child accountants, just because they become a child accountant, very arrogant. Fine, he might not be as talented as you, he might not be as intelligent as you, but the mere fact is more experienced than you, you need to respect him. Number six, you need to think beyond Kanpur. Yes, you are all from Kanpur, but you should think beyond maybe taking up a career in Bombay, or Bangalore, or maybe abroad. Think beyond that. Number seven, you should have innovative ideas. Innovation should be a buzzword in life. Everything you do in life, you should do different. That is how you get recognized, that is how you'll be noticed in the company in which you're working or even in your practice. So it's absolutely essential for you to be innovative. Number eight, you have a role model to emulate. Maybe a good friend of yours, maybe your uncle. He may not be a child accountant, but you find that he's been successful in life. You should go up to him and ask him what has been the secret of his success. If you want to be successful in your life, you need to pick up some good ideas from him. Number nine, be humble in life. Friends, you, you need to have humility. Without being humble in life, you can't be successful. And this is one quality that should be embedded in your life, right throughout your life. Only then you'll be successful, people will like you. People would like to interact with you and spend time with you. If you're not humble, you'll not be appreciated in life. Today, some of the most successful people who occupy top position, even a person like Narayan Murthy, who is the chairman of Infosys, a very simple and humble guy. A person like Azim Premzi, chairman of Wipro. When we interact with them, talk to them, very simple and humble. So you need to be humble in life. Number 10, as our vice president said, you need to put in a lot of hard work. Yes, you have finished your CA, you put in a lot of hard work, but that doesn't stop here. Your hard work should continue. You should be committed to the profession. You should be passionate. You should have a passion to learn because our profession demands a lot of learning, continuous learning. Today we have a lot of new legislations. We are getting into a specialization mode. You need to know the new financial reporting standards. 2015, we are having the new reporting standards. A lot of new legislative companies act is coming. So a learning is something is continuous. We are supporting you in the institute. So you need to see that you work hard, you're passionate and committed to this profession. Friend, number 11 is planning in life. You need to be good at planning. You need to plan how exactly you want to go about achieving success in your life. Only then you can be successful. And finally, be useful to society. You should be a responsible citizen. When people around you are there, they need some help, try to help them out. Being a child accountant, I'm sure you'll be well connected in the society over a period of time. If you're able to help someone around you, I think that is when society would respect you, that is when society would recognize you, and that is what is expected from each one of you. I am very confident, friends, that each one of you present here would be extremely successful in your career. I can wish you good luck in your life, in your career. I'm sure it will be a great career. On behalf of all my friends sitting here on the dais, off the dais, and on behalf of all the 2,25,000 child accountants, I compliment you, I congratulate, congratulate you, and wish you a lot of laurels in life. And I'm sure you'll begin this great journey 
with lot of enthusiasm, with lot of hope, and we are all there to support you. Thank you very much.